Hi there, Echo Craft here. So uh, doing an unboxing video, this is the Fifine K8 Dynamic Microphone. And I purchased this on Amazon for about $29. Um, I heard some great reviews on it. I have more expensive microphones, but this one sounds amazing. And I bought this specifically for the Voice Tweaker by Roland, the E4 Voice Tweaker. Bought this microphone specifically for that little box. So yeah, so here we go, unboxing, and we're gonna do a test run and see how it sounds. Fi Fine, good stuff. All right guys, so this is the Fi Fine microphone that I purchased. This is the K8. Uh, this is basically a microphone that is supposedly like around the uh, Shure SM58 style of mic, but with a very small price tag. This, again, like I had said earlier, this is only $30. I think I paid $29 for this guy. And we're gonna unbox this. And I bought this specifically to go with my Roland E4 voice tweaker. As you see, we have the manual here for Fi Fine K8. Uh, pretty cool, they give you some tips, uh, which is really nice. Let's see, oh, it comes with a nice bag, which is cool. Get the box and put it over here. And what I really like about this, it comes with uh, a 19 foot, not a 20 foot. <laughs> it's a 19 foot, um, XLR to quarter inch jack mono, uh, which is really nice. This is a really quality cable. They give you a cable tie with that, which is nice. But this is a pretty quality cable. I'm, I'm pretty pretty shocked, actually. It's not bad, it's metal. Um, I do have some other cables that are pretty decent, but this is not bad, you know? Uh, let's see, all right, so here's the microphone. There it is here. So yeah, this is the microphone. This is the K8 uh, Fi Fine. This was $29, like I said, it does have an on-off switch, which is really cool. And it's quiet on-off switch. Now most on-off switches are up here, which is kind of weird because when you are singing with it or you're using it, handheld using it, sometimes your hand hits the on-off button. I like the fact that they put it down here, which is really nice. It's got a decent capsule on it. I like this fact that it's actually got uh, it's got this rubber on there, so you know it, it's like a shock absorber. Inside here, the capsule is also a, uh, and I'm not gonna take it apart. A lot of people take them apart. I don't like doing that because I'm afraid that I'm gonna damage the microphone. But in here is a wooden screen over the uh, capsule, which is nice. And this is made out of metal, and it's got some weight to it, believe it or not, um, which is pretty cool. So I put this down right here. And then it comes with this nice little bag Fi Fine bag, which is pretty cool um, to store it in, which is nice. And then it came with a windscreen, an extra windscreen to put over this guy. Yeah. See if I can get it on there. Which I probably, am, I'm not going to use. I might use it. I don't know. I'm going to use a pop filter anyway. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. For the money, I heard it on, on, uh, on different YouTube channels, uh, people demoing it and stuff, and it sounds really good. I also have another Fi Fine mic, which you all know that I did a demo on that, and that um, was the uh, the Fi Fine um, USB microphone that I really liked a lot. But yeah, so this is pretty cool, um, and I'm gonna play around with it and see what happens, probably do a demo of it. I don't know, I heard good things about it, I heard it, it sounded great. $29 for what I'm going to use it for. Like I, you know, I have other expensive microphones um, ranging anywhere from $99 all the way up to $600. I know there are people out there that have microphones ranging into the, you know, $2,000, $4,000 mark. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to do this for a specific reason and see what it sounds like. And if it sounds really good and it works out really well, I'm probably going to buy another one. So yeah, five fine. Uh, K8 microphone, dynamic microphone. Okay, so right now I'm about a foot and a half away from the microphone and as I bring myself closer and closer and closer, and there it is, I'm very close to the mic right now. It actually sounds pretty good. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. 
Yeah, the plosives are there. They're pretty big. I'm probably going to use a windscreen. Um, yeah, but anyway, the mic sounds good. I basically bought this microphone. This is a Five Fine mic, um, which I really like. This is the Five Fine K8. Um, it was cheap. It was thirty dollars. Um, not too shabby. Inexpensive, I should say. I have a lot uh, more higher end microphones, like I said before, but um, this one's going to do the trick. I bought this nice little mic stand to go with it, and this is basically going to be used for the um, the E4, the Roland Ira Compact E4 Voice Tweaker. Yeah, that's what I bought it for. And I, yeah, I'm kind of at a weird angle here, but anyway, so yeah, you can actually hear it. I'm going to lower the vo volume a little bit on my Go Mixer. There it is right there. So it's a little bit better. I turn it up just a little bit, and I'm going to go further away from the mic. I'm going to crank it all the way up. So I'm right now about two feet away from the mic, and I'm going to get closer, 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 closer. And now I'm very close, and I'm right up close to it. You can actually hear me whispering. Yes. I know that's creepy. Sorry. All right. So there you have it. Um, and so this is it. This is going to do well. I really like it. It's very high endy, not very much low end, but doesn't sound too bad. All right. So, uh, yeah, check it out. The Five Fine K8 microphone, uh, $30 on Amazon. I'll put some links in the uh, description and um, hope you enjoy the video. Peace.